Firstly, check the current IP port details of the connected camera. Double click on the IP camera tool icon. The camera IP address will appear. Left click on the IP address, then right click and select network configuration. Here we see the last number is set to 20 and the port number is set to 80. As port 80 is the default port, for port forwarding we want to set this to a different number. Here we have chosen 81. Click OK and the camera will reboot. This will take about 30 seconds. The subnet doesn't match message is normal initially. If this persists, please check your settings. If all is OK, the camera will reshow its IP address. Here fixed at dot 20 and at port 81. How to set up port forwarding on your network router for the WatchBot IP camera. Open your web browser. In the address field, type the IP address of your router, in this case 192.168.0.1. If unknown, please consult your router manual and or your network provider. Log into your router. If unknown, again please consult your router manual and or your network provider. Here we've selected the services page also known as virtual servers or custom applications. Click Add. Enter a name for the service. This could be WatchBot, CAM1 or anything you like. Choose TCP UDP as type. This may also be named both or you may need to add TCP and UDP separately. Enter port 81 in both start and finish boxes. Click Apply. Let's just remind ourselves of the camera's IP address. Click on Firewall Rules, also known as Security. We'll be allowing the camera to connect through the firewall. We'll be adding a new inbound service. Click Add. From the drop-down list, choose the name you gave your camera in the previous step. Ensure Action is set to Always Allow. Enter the IP address of the camera again. Leave WAN servers set to Any and click Apply. In some cases, to allow you to view the camera over the internet from your local network, you need to also add an outbound service. As before, click Add. In the Services drop-down, choose the same name you gave the service from previously. Set Action to Allow Always. Under LAN Users, choose Single Address and enter the same IP address as before. Leave WAN servers set to any and click apply. Then click apply to save your new settings. You're done!